One of the worst things that can go wrong with a Dyson vacuum is something called the red light problem. This is when you press the button to use the vacuum and you get a blinking red light. You'll check all the normal stuff. Is the filter in place? Is the battery charged? And it just won't work. You'll just get a blinking red light. Basically, there's no good way to fix it using the existing vacuum. What happens is the blinking red light means your battery is no good. You need to replace the battery. The battery is shot. This is a Dyson V8. Uh, this model is maybe like four plus years old. So this one has a lot of use. I'm not surprised. The battery is done. And uh, so I figured, okay, how do I fix it? It's not that hard. You buy a replacement battery. You could buy an official Dyson battery. But the problem with that is a new official Dyson battery, even for an older model like the V8, might cost 50 or $60. This vacuum, this old V8, you can see it has a ton of miles on it. It's got a lot of use. It's not worth 50 or $60. You could buy a new V8 for like, I don't know, maybe $200 on sale, maybe a little bit more. You really don't want to spend too much on the replacement battery, especially knowing that, you know, they're pretty good shot, a new battery will fix it, but it's not 100%. So uh, I bought this battery. Actually, it was a kit that was about $30 on Amazon. You could spend a little bit more, a little bit less, uh, but you get the battery right here. It's called a, just a Dyson V8 battery pack. This is just the generic one. You also get a new filter. It looks just like the Dyson filter. Uh, I don't believe it's an official Dyson filter. You get a little cleaning thing. This is like a hook for like pulling the hair off of the beater brush. It has a little like a uh, razor in here, so you gotta be careful. You get a new, the HEPA filter on the back. Uh, it was usually you have an animal model, but uh, you don't have to use this if you don't need one. Okay, so I got everything out of the way. And uh, what do you do next? The first thing you need to do is remove all the hardware, but you can't take the battery off on the V8 without removing the front stuff. So basically you wanna pull this up. That's gonna release the bottom. So make sure you have everything cleared out. Next, you want to use this button right here to and pull away. So just pull the bin away. Now you have a red button right here. This is going to remove this piece. It'll slide right out. Now you have just the, uh, the motor itself and the battery, and you could remove the three screws. They're tiny little screws. So you want to use a high quality Phillips head or a, uh, some specialized screwdrivers like a JIS screwdriver, but basically you want to have as good a screwdriver as you have in a small Phillips and uh, or Phillips like head. And you want to just apply a fair bit of pressure and remove these little screws. There's the first one. The other two are they're right here at the top of the battery. I already removed one. This one you just dispose of. Uh, just find a battery recycling center or a battery throughout center by you. Then you're going to get the new battery, slide it in, should fit really nicely. And now replace these screws. Okay, so I've swapped the screws. I put everything back in and uh, we should be good to go. Let's see how if it works or not. Yeah, so now we see no blinking light, blue light now blue is like, or whatever color your new battery manufacturer uses. But uh, the point is it works. I will put the pieces back together. Uh, basically you slide, uh, I always forget on the V8, which one to do first. Okay, so we got the top piece in place. Then you're gonna get this piece and make sure it's lining up. Line up the two little prongs at the top right there. Lock that in. There you go. Close that. Close that. And that's good to go. Much quieter because everything's sealed up. Uh, if you bought a refurb kit like I did, you could pull the old filter, put the new filter back in place, get the new HEPA filter in place. And uh, you basically, with a good cleaning, of course, you have a fully refurbished Dyson V8. 